Okay, dolls, so as you can see, I've already started mine. Um, but what you want to do is determine where the back of your letter is. Mine will be where they have the two tags for when they hang the item up in the craft store. And this is a 9 inch letter purchased from Michaels. And what you want to do to give your uh, twine a nice uniform look, all you're simply going to do is determine where the back is. And you're just going to apply a little bit of glue. Okay, you're going to apply that to the back, and then you're just going to simply wrap the twine around, making sure that it is tightly, tightly wound next to the row um, or the row that's prior to it. Okay, so you just want to keep wrapping, and as you can see, you don't have to add glue every single time you know you wrap it around because you have it in that one spot so therefore it's going to catch that glue when it's around and hold everything in place okay and you just want to keep wrapping and keep wrapping and again you want to make sure that everything is tightly wound if you see that you know you have some gaping make sure that you press the twine down next to the row that's below it and just keep wrapping and then what you can do is you can just decide where you want to add more glue if you want to keep adding your glue to the back then just go ahead and add another dot of glue to the back and then you want to keep going until you wrap all the way around okay dolls so the next thing to do is to take a piece of ribbon and you want to wait till you get about up here um, you want to take your ribbon and this was just some regular scrap ribbon that I had around you can make the ribbon as thick or as thin as you want and you want to take your staple gun and you want to staple the ribbon to the back of the wooden letter and my husband purchased this I think he got this from Lowe's this is what we used when we were building our headboard so once you staple the ribbon on there you don't really have to measure it yet because this is just the first one you want to just put your glue here and then just keep wrapping the twine around so that it acts as another way of holding that ribbon on so that everything is nice and secure and when you hang it up you know your ribbons going to come out this way so if you wanted to you could you could uh, use some twine to hang it on your door. You can use whatever you want. But I'm adding the green so it can match my outside decor. Okay, dolls. Once you are done wrapping the twine over the entire wooden letter, you're going to get something like this. And you're more than welcome to do more than one layer if you want. You know, the more layers you do, the thicker it'll be. It doesn't need to be necessarily perfect because you want to give it still that outdoorsy feel but just get it as uniform as you possibly can and this is what the front looks like with the ribbon attached to it okay so now that you have your letter done you want to see you can actually leave it like this if you want to or if you have some kind of garden decor that has letters in it then you can go ahead and add a couple things to it what I'm going to do is simply add a bow I took some of that same ribbon that I used for the top to hang it on my door I just made a little bow out of it and I'm going to hot glue it right here and then I just found some embellishments through all of my crafting things that I have and I'm going to use these all of these were purchased from uh, Michael's craft store and you know just little simple things you could use buttons um you could use some rocks if you have some you know the craft store always has rocks and you just lay your items down play around and see how it is that you want these items to look on here and then once you figure out how you want them on there you just go ahead and hot glue them and then after that you'll be done and be ready to hang it up Alright dolls, so I went ahead and I glued my little decorations onto my monogram letter. 
and I just think that this is just so adorable the green will go perfect no matter what decor you really have outside because green again is more of like a natural color so if you don't necessarily have a color scheme outside there's always grass somewhere so you can always go with um, just if you wanted to maybe do the green bow and then you could do some natural color buttons or again like I said if you wanted to maybe do some natural stones or pretty much whatever you want to do on this it's it's whatever you want it to be no one knows what it's supposed to look like so I hope that this <laughs> other DIY project again is one that helps you I was on Pinterest and saw something kind of similar to this and of course you know I just tweaked it and did my own little thing but I just love DIY projects and I will continue to bring them to you guys as I get them done and until next time dolls have a gorgeous day smooches Mwah. bye